Hello and welcome to my quick and easy Helmod guide. In this video I'm going to explain to you the other basics of this mod without going into all the crazy and confusing details. After this video you will be able to configure this mod to tell you how to produce a certain amount of items per second or how to set up a production chain for a certain item and all the pre-produce you need. And apart from that, I won't be going too deep into the other wonderful uh, things this mod can do. This video is specifically aimed to people who struggle to get this thing going at all. So if you like this kind of content, drop me a subscription and you won't miss a thing in the future. So first off, this uh, stuff here is what I uh, already configured beforehand. But you can tell this mod to give you a solution on pretty much every production step so first off you need a empty cell here you can produce as many as you want of them by clicking the plus button and then we're we're clicking on add a recipe so since i'm right now running a mod with a terrible amount of uh, different products this was quite um quite on purpose to show you the uh, more advanced uh, functions but let's just go into something very very simple like the iron chest so now the um, Helmont opened a new production sheet for us and here we see so far not too much. The first thing you want to uh, pay attention to is the output here. So the green box tells you that you can configure something here. So we want to tell the Helmont to produce us one iron chest per second for, for whatever reason that might be. So this here states how many items per second should be produced. So after we put in the one, what changed was we have now the information that we will need one factory and it'll produce one chest per second and it'll need eight iron plates per second for that. Let's say we want two per second and there goes an update. Let's say we want 15 per second for whatever reason that might be. It's just something that you see. Um, that's how this tool works and it just fills in the equation the numbers for you and it's very really really cool to use that on more complex products like in this scenario it's not that enlightening but um to give you another example let's say we want to know how much ore i'll need for the iron plates so let's check out the iron plates There we go. So, I want an output of 15 iron plates per second, which is a yellow belt. And now the game is able to tell me that I'm going to need, uh, well, let's configure these. I'm going to need 53 of these furnaces. I'm going to need 20 iron ore per second, and I'm going to need this amount of coal to do so. Never mind the numbers, they are part of the mod, but you get the basic idea here. It's pretty useful to know how many smelters I'll immediately need, and it's also very useful to know how, how much ore I'll need for that process. So we can also click here onto, into the factory button and then we can select which kind of uh, smelter we want to use. Let's say we want to make this work on steel furnaces, and then we can just select that and the numbers get instantly upgraded. Uh, updated so that's a really really useful uh, thing to do you can also configure modules and such but we're not covering this in the uh, in this video because that's an advanced uh, thing to do so another thing I want to point out whenever your machine can use some kind of fuel here you can configure what kind of fuel should be used so it'll update the necessi necessities immediately according to whatever is configured there really handy if you're using uh, alternating uh, sources of energy and that's pretty much all that is to do if you want to tell the game um, how to produce a certain amount of product with the hell mod you add the recipe let's say we want to produce these science packs and we want to produce 1.5 per second that would be an output of 90 science per minute and that's pretty decent. So you see here, 15 machines would be needed, but here we're not having something like a raw product. We're needing electromagnet cores and electromagnet coils. So if this happens, you can just click on that ingredient and Helmod immediately sets up a new uh, line in the production chain, which tells you how to produce 
the pre-produce basically. So now we know that we're going to need this and what can, how many machines we're going to need. I could even click on the iron plates, and now I get asked how I want to produce the iron plates, because there are several recipes for that. Let's say I want to use this, and then it fills in this uh, thing as well. A very, very handy uh, thing if you want to know how to how many machines do I actually need, because Getting the first step down, like calculating how many machines you need for just 1.5 per second, okay, that's not too uh, much of an effort, but the whole production chain behind that, it's super handy if you can go just like that. And let's go for something more tricky. Let's say the green science packs, which are a real pain in this mod pack. It's C-block in case you were wondering. So here. And in this scenario, you notice that um, everything I click here is basically uh, having tons of pre-produced recipes and it even gets worse and worse. With every step I click, it gets deeper and deeper and nobody would understand that anymore, wouldn't you? So we can kick that all out. And instead of going crazy with that, I can now go for, let's check it out, there's the Atmos instrumentation. Let's click on Add Production Block and look for this item, let's just, there we go. And now the whole production step on how to produce the Atmos instrumentations, let's configure a mount so we have numbers on it, um, gets shoved out into this block. So I won't be having the trouble of keeping these uh, in my uh, in my mind anymore. Or I could just say, please give me the the production chain of the basic circuit boards in a different uh, block. This is uh, by segmenting it like that, you can cut the recipe into chunks, which are easier for you to comprehend and to follow. That's uh, that's just what I want to point out here, because if we're looking at this um, behemoth of steps, I mean, this mod is uh, basically meant to have a behemoth of steps, but you see here, there's, I can already, this is only one of these boards, so Helmod can help you here a lot by organizing these steps. So I can just uh, switch between projects, and if I go here, and click on one of these blocks, I get back into the screen and I can just uh, cycle through these. It's up to you how you uh, how you organize that. Um, you can remove these blocks here on the overview screen, but that's just it. You can uh, work with that just as you please. Another really, really useful thing, which is uh, the other function that I love to use Helmod for, is basically like, Let's say there's a very complicated product on your list. I don't know. Let's say here, uh, there's clay bricks. I don't really want to know how to uh, produce, I I'm not up to producing insanely many clay bricks. I just want to get one of these guys running. So I switch here from computing by element to computing by factory. And now the green box here disappears and the uh, cursor wanders over here. Now I can tell the game that I just want to run one factory of a certain product. And now the whole equation is centered around this one factory instead of a certain output. So now I can uh, determine how much gets produced by these. Well, it's a one by one uh, ratio here, but it's quite simple. It's quite useful if you just want to know how do I get one of these guys going? How many machines will I need to get just one of these uh, machines running. Because sometimes in very complicated scenarios, you just want to know like, or how many machines will I need to get five of these furnaces running. So the, the equations here get updated in a very, very uh, easily understandable and uh, practical way. You can also change every machine here in the table by just clicking on it. And let's say I want to use an assembling machine tier two here the numbers get instantly um, upgraded here. That's a very, very useful thing to use. So this is the computing by factory function. Most of the time, I gotta admit, I work with computing by element by just telling the game, boom, I want 15 of those, full belt please, and then we get the rest of the equation here served. That's a really, really useful thing. 
And another real cool thing that I want to showcase here as the end of this uh, tutorial, when you have this thing running, you can click here the pin button and then you get a little window where you, which you can uh, drag around, which you can use as kind of a reminder of what you'll need to set up the production uh, chain you're up to. You can even click on one of these uh, babies here and it instantly creates a b mini blueprint for you for this machine which uh, ghosts that thing and if I now put a real assembler on that square it instantly has that recipe on it. It's a really nice thing. So after all these things are said and done one last thing I want to talk about is the preferences screen basically your uh, options menu which is quite nastily hidden if you ask me but there's one thing that's really really cool to know and that's here you can set up the factory default level that's basically the default level of the machines that are uh, to be used so if you want to uh, set up a if you don't if you're like I don't use assembling machines tier one at all anymore you can go for that and you can also go for defaults of items logistic so you can see which kind of belts are usually used. These things are really nice to know. I wanted to showcase that because I personally was looking for it a moment too long. So the Helmod offers you a lot of other functions which are sure super useful, but with this knowledge, you can plan your factory and plan your uh, assembly steps just as you need them. And if that helped you, I hope you, are, you don't mind to like, leave this video a little like or leave me a comment if you're still having some questions around these basic functions. This tutorial is by no means an advanced one and uh, it's only meant to give you a quick intro to that. So I hope I was able to help you. See you guys next time. Bye bye.